the Joe Rogan experience. I once was fat, actually. Really? Ch- yeah, ch- like, a, you know, rolls, like the guys that have rolls of fat and the thing. And I was with a girl who, um, you know, was a very, very serious, uh, young and everything. And she, we went to her beach. Her beach was called Little Doom, you know, <clears throat> Doom Beach, mm-hmm. Little Doom. And she talks to these, she goes, I have to go talk to these guys. And they were the cool surfer dudes. And it was like 25 years ago, 30 years ago. And she talks to these guys and they start laughing. And I go, what are they like? What are you guys laughing at? To her, because she's now left these and they're back there. And I see a a chorus of them kind of laughing. They go, well, I guess they're laughing because they said, uh, we never thought you'd be with like a fat guy. And I thought, wow, they, they look at me and that's what, they're, that's what they're seeing and they think it's funny. I got to fix this. And I, that was like the straight up October forever for me. Um, that is what's called fat shaming. Fat shaming. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that. There's a I mean, phrase. Yeah. You never, you never heard of fat shaming? Never heard it. Well, that's, it's a very controversial thought because some fat people think shaming. that fat shaming is terrible. And that you shouldn't do it to people. It and other people me. say that fat... <laughs> <that's>, <laughs> it's true. It does yeah. work on certain people, but it makes people feel bad. And some people think you should protect people from feeling bad. Mm. Whereas other people think you should tell them that they're fat so they feel bad, so they act on it. <laughs> How do you see it? I say Where does I'm Joe the Rogan call it? I'm the latter. I think you should tell people that they're fat. <laughs> If they want to know, God, you said. I don't think you should oh, go after oh, people oh, and yeah. make them feel if like shit. If they want to know, you mean like if they, they want to know? I don't think you should protect. Like what's them from a it. what's a um, okay? Give me the signal of <clears throat> if you want to know. Like you're with some friend, or you're, <sighs> uh, you're, I mean, let's say you're with someone you only know a little bit. I wouldn't say anything. Then okay, so now you're with. Uh, uh, so we're talking about like relatives or no? You're talking yeah. about a husband wife or yeah. boyfriend girlfriend. That's tough. Because they can resent you forever. Yeah. You got to be real careful, okay, especially so, with the ladies. Yeah, yeah. And if you're a man and yeah. you resent your wife forever because she tells you you're fat, you're probably not really a man. <laughs> That's really funny. You might be a little bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. Right? I can't believe you said that. Really? I mean, I like it because it's – I don't know what you – no, I like it. You might be a little bitch. That's, you might be a little bitch. Yeah. If if your yeah. wife says you're fat and – like, if my wife tells me I'm fat, I'm like, um, I'm not fat. Yeah. What are you talking about? It doesn't work. Yeah. It yeah. only works if you're fat. It's yeah. one thing if they're saying something yeah, yeah, about – Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, get it. It's one thing if they're saying something about something you can't yeah, yeah, control. Yeah. Like, I wish you were black. I don't like white okay, guys. Okay, I have a then question. you feel terrible. So it sounds like you have no boundaries on your show. Right. Okay. The guys that have really little dicks. Ooh, that's a rough. That's a rough one. I am. I got. I got it. I. I'm hearing you. So, do you think the girl, the what? Let's. Do you think, and the girl, the girl and the guy mm. are together? Okay. Did the girl ever say you have a little? Do they ever? Does it? Do I'm they, sure some girls do. They do. say it. But here's the thing. Some girls. I mean, we feel are, pretty like rough guys. We can talk about. It. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think some girls who yeah. are. <clears throat> some girls who are beautiful, beautiful girls, yeah, are also lesbians. Oh yes, that's right? true. Yeah. So yeah. some girls, it's popular to be. Some lesbian. girls who are beautiful girls are bisexual. So yes. they they like girls and guys. Here's yeah. the question: Would those girls mm. be more likely to settle for a guy with a little dick? Yes. Or a rich guy with a little is dick. Is it they like girls to be girls and like guys no matter what oh, to have yeah. a big dick? All right. The way that's. I think they're like uh, probably the latter. <laughs> probably, the unfortunately. Latter. Evolution's a motherfucker. It really is. Yeah. I think that uh, that's, you know, there's not a damn thing a person can do about that one. No, you know, you could no. suck fat out of your waist and stuff it in your ass. You could get fake boobs. There's a lot of shit you can do. If you got a little dick, that's a wrap, Kit. son. It's a wrap, son. <laughs> It's not much you can do. I mean, it's probably there's some operations that can help you out a little. Yeah, but I think that, but I for the most imagine. part, yes. Yeah. yeah, cutting and dick. Those do you two think words it don't go together makes well. guys crazy when they? Oh, have, for sure. Yeah, I think it might guaranteed. Too. Yeah. It must. Yeah, it must make them suicidal. Because it, it's whenever what if something we started that you throwing shit right now, that would mean like we had little dicks. Maybe it'd have to go crazy. <laughs> I think. I think there's certain things that you know. There's nothing you can do about there's it. Nothing. You just have to ha- handle that roll of the dice, whatever yeah. you got. Yeah. I would guess. Yeah, that's one of them. But I mean, okay. if if things like CRISPR and genetic manipulation and things they're working on now, yeah, that's probably one of the first things they're going to work on. 
That's financial. Wow, I never thought of it. Oh, yeah. You just you know hatched Munder that right on that? the show today. I think I've thought about s- it before. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. But I don't, I don't, think, uh, I, I don't think there's That's anything funny. more profitable except yeah. be- beauty. Beauty would be incredibly yeah. profitable for people who I, were But they're not both fall in that same department. Well, yes. somewhat. Yes. Same yes. area. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like cos- and whatever it is, cosmetics. I, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not just cosmetics, but even you know uh, people that are, yeah. are not well, happy guy with, with a little their dick frame. You're not operational. Yeah. No, no, you're not operational. I mean, maybe one day they'll be able to do something. Yeah, you, they shoot a little virus into your body, and then all of a sudden, yeah, yeah, that'd be something. It can happen. Yeah, I mean, it's not insurmountable scientifically. Yeah, there's so many things that they're they're already doing with genetic manipulation. Yeah. That's not outside the realm. Yeah, it's not outside the realm. It seems possible. Yeah. Let's start calling our scientists right yeah. now. Call them up. Yeah, and see what's, what's up. Say, say yeah. what's... So anyway, fat, you learned about fat shaming. <laughs> I got that. That's can't very believe you didn't know about that. I That's didn't. like in the zeitgeist right now. Is it? Yeah, oh, people get mad at people one. for fat shaming. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. James Corden got mad at Bill Maher. Did Bill he? Maher was mocking fat shaming. He was like, maybe we should be shaming people more. To, to him directly? No, no. Oh, oh just... <clears throat> Bill yeah. Maher was talking about on his television show that maybe we should oh. be shaming people more. Oh, I see, I see. I see. And then James Corden said, I have a problem with that. And, you know, he's talking, yeah. made, made a bunch of fat jokes, which I found were kind of kind of weird. <laughs> you're making fat jokes while you're being upset that someone's calling you fat. <laughs> That's okay. interesting. Yeah. It's, he thought he could get that one by you, but then that one didn't get by you. No, but he, he also does have a comedy talk show so it makes yes. sense that he was making jokes and he's yeah. being comedic in his yeah. uh, but he does have a comedy yes he does have a comedy it's a, talk show it's 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 not something that you can't fix and that's one of the things that people have a problem with being sympathetic about it and yeah. i think that was bill maher's statement because bill's mm. obviously a very slim man yeah but it's not something you can't fix. It's yeah. a problem to fix. Yeah. It's hard to fix. It's hard probably. It hard requires to fix. discipline yeah. and also your your gut biome is probably all screwed up from eating bad foods. And you know, you probably are accustomed to certain certain behavior patterns that are unhealthy for you. Yeah. The, the times you're eating, the kind of foods you're eating. Yeah. All that. <clears throat> I know. fixed I fixed mine with um but I mean I wasn't fat in the in that really You fixed it with shame. I fixed it with shame. She shamed me, uh. and I started jumping rope. Uh-huh. And I started with, I do all, everything with uh, an achievable goal. I just did a couple minutes, and I just kept going. And then pretty soon, uh, you know, I did the rope with the, uh, that had a counter on it with mm-hmm. those plastic beads that gives a little weight on the, and, a, and a nylon rope, a mm-hmm. nylon cord, and you could really wha- get it going. So yeah. I could do 200 beats a minute for 30 minutes, and you're holding your body very tight. So it actually, I didn't think of it that way, but it cr- really strengthens strengthened my core. Yeah. Jumping rope is amazing. Yeah, so yeah. you obviously do. Yeah, it's do great. It's you great do it to only footwork, to warm up or? Mostly, yeah. yeah. I just oh, do it footwork. to kind of get going. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But for boxers, that's why the boxers use it so much. I mean, it's, yeah. a, it's a staple of boxing workouts. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're always on your toes. You yeah. Know? So it's, it, it keeps your calves conditioned and Ooh. helps your, your body ability to sh- you know, yes. shift movement. Yeah. I mean, strong calves and strong feet are very, very important for, for boxing and anything that yeah. requires movement. Football players, a lot of football players use yeah. jump rope mm. to help their ability to move side to side and help their mobility. Yeah. yeah, great workout too. Just great cardiovascular. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I. It's very trendy right now too. Is it? Yes. Another trendy yes. thing. Yes, another trendy thing. Yeah, the antidote to uh, fat shaming. Well, right? there's a lot of videos online uh, where uh. people are doing like these YouTube workouts of uh, jumping rope, uh. and then they also have weighted ropes, which is makes it more. I intense. used a weighted rope too. Yeah. I, I used to go everywhere with the, these ropes. So if yeah. I were in an airport, I'd be doing it. I remember being on a tarmac in Greece in Athens, waiting, and I was doing it. I would do it on in the rain. Uh, I would do all, all, I always did, every day. I did it. That That's I awesome. did with no fa- without fail for uh, almost twelve years. <laughs>